Welcome back to the channel. It's officially April out here on the property. We are fighting against some snow and mud, working to get the cabin floor completely done, getting some gravel around the posts, and hopefully starting logs by our next video. Mud season's almost upon us, but we're making crazy progress on the cabin and honestly should be moving into it months before we planned. It's a really exciting time out here. We are at the weather's mercy right now, which is pretty normal, but we did get a few inches of snow over the weekend, and Levi's working on clearing it because we were getting our last delivery for the cabin kit. It is our doors and windows and the roof metal. So he's getting all this snow cleared up we got over the weekend. And then I think we're gonna start working on the micro lambs. I need to stain them so the guys can get notches in, get the four posts cut at the height we want, all that stuff. We're supposed to get about six inches of snow on Thursday. We'll see if we get that. It'll almost make it easier to keep going back and forth. But here at some point we are going to not be able to make it out here because there just won't be enough snow to snow machine and it's gonna be too muddy to drive, so. So how's it going this morning? It's not going well. I haven't had been plowing snow with a tractor like that for like 10 years in Colorado and here. Never once hit anything. I've hit this truck twice in two weeks. Hit the quarter panel on that side, broke the tail light on this side. <laughs> That's just a sign that it's getting to be the end of winter. I've been plowing all winter, getting rushed in a hurry. Messing stuff up. It'll be all right though. Not worried about it. To be fair, you were all good with the truck. Yeah, I knew exactly where I was. And then you bounced off I that bad boy. I wasn't gonna hit it, and then I caught that with a tire. And so, I mean. What you gonna do? We said when we were doing the outhouse there a couple other things we wanted to trim up and seal up, you know, air to keep bugs out of there and stuff. So put some more blocking in, birds and whatever from getting in there. Put some trim, you know, on the window here along the roof and then got finished up the inside, got a toilet paper roll holder put up there. So it's all nice and complete. Aside from stain. We're going to stain it once we pick our stain for the cabin. That way it matches. But it'll be alright for a little while until we get to that. For the record, there is a little trash can in there because you don't want to... Good morning! You don't want to put toilet paper in the hole. That may sound gross to some, but the whole idea of trying to get the waste to decompose into the ground instead of just build up means no toilet paper. So trash can. Check out those cabinets though. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, they look great. And we'll build a workbench under here up to about here and then you can leave generators and stuff that's just going to be open the door and pull it out Yeah. type stuff. Clean up or maybe hang up some shovels or something there. Awesome. Coffee is perfect by the way. Tell us what just happened. Well, Henry was over here plowing. <laughs> no, I was plowing. And I back up, and I'm cleaning up my mess right there, and a daggum tree fell in the driveway. Where I've been, not two minutes ago, I was right there plowing. You can tell I didn't plow the other side of the driveway. You know, I made one pass, I was coming back to make another, and now there's a freaking tree in the road. Henry, you're in the way. 
Well, we got our windows in. I think everything looks great. French door they had to custom build, which turned out exactly like I hope. These are gonna be our trap windows are gonna go in the loft. Keep over looking. Big kind of bay window deals out over the pond, so it's gonna be slick. And then we got a bunch of roof metal over there, all ready to go. Hopefully no moose. I have a tap dancing party on it because it's on the ground, but that's what we've got to work with. Now it's going to be in the way for the next <laughs> while. His truck nap didn't last long, but now he wants a mom nap, which is fine. We'll check out the metal though. Of course it's covered, but I'll get a shot of the color whole bunch. Doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of sheets there, so there it all is. All of the material for the cabin. Plus, I just uncovered our trailer, which has like floor joists and stuff like that. I'm going to work on staining all that. I might try to get him in his wrap or see if he'll sleep in the chair again so that I can get that stained. So that it's ready to go when the guys are ready for it. Really excited though. Um, it's been really great working with Timberline Sawmill in Palmer, Alaska and we'll definitely be using them again if we ever have the need for another cabin.
watching on this side of the center post. You get rid of this junk. What is going on here? First. Yep. Then I come in with a skill saw and I can get 90% of that other junk. I will move more. The only one I can, I couldn't find. Planer. Yeah. Until you get down in here. Getting to the property a little bit later today, we did a town run to pick up the mail and a few things. <sighs> Trying to assess the to-do list. We had some moose running in front of us on the road today. We tried to give them space. It made it the drive take way longer to get here. And then they eventually turned down our driveway, <laughs> trying to get away from us. So we gave them space, let them get to about the Connex before we pulled in. And they still were like crap and kind of went behind the conics and finally ditched out under the woods. But the berms on the plowed roads are so tall right now, they don't want to uh, get off the road. So it was a cow and calf, but it was kind of cool. But it also, we were trying so hard not to push them, but also <laughs> got stuff to do. And we will be getting to work, getting the rest of the posts cut and maybe a couple of micro lambs set. a baby monitor so I feel like I can leave him in there when he's not just sleeping because I'll hear him when he fusses but he's listening to culture wall right now
Yes, I like the height for sure. Yeah, I agree. Quick update today, the guys are working on the floor joists at the property. I sent Levi with the GoPro, we'll see if he gets time to get any footage for us. I stayed behind to catch up on some laundry, trying to stay out of the laundromat. It's really expensive to do all of our laundry at the laundromat, so I'm using my little machine today. If you haven't seen me do laundry, I will put the little link up here for how we do it. I have a whole video on it. I'm also really quickly going to get my seedlings upgraded into some bigger pots, bigger pots being milk jugs, and hopefully they keep growing so well. They're doing pretty good. They are a little leggy. I'm fully aware of that, but we don't have enough power here for me to have any kind of grow lights, so I'm relying on the little bit of spring sun we're getting, but I'm going to get them transplanted today and just trying to catch up on things here while the guys keep building the cabin. It is going crazy fast over there, and we're really excited about that. Hi. You were just supposed to be napping. I know I should wet this dirt first, but I really don't want mud in here right now. There's a lot of little things I could do to do this like 20 billion times better, but um, just kind of working with what I got right now. Look at those happy pumpkin roots. Looks a little on the soggy side. I don't know if it's supposed to be that soggy. Awesome. Let's do that three more times. I don't. I need supervision. The other seedlings, I think I'm just going to thin. I don't really have space to upgrade them to gallon jugs yet. I go all the way and you don't. We got trucks. So, for starters, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Not that way. Now just a couple thumps.
some plywood down on the floor, finally. That's what the view is going to look like. That's all the pond there. And then the creek's going to go out that way. So, looking good. A lot of trees still to come down. Friday morning and we are going to try and get our four-wheeler out the hard pack on the road that hasn't been plowed all winter seems hard enough to get the four-wheeler out and we're going to use it for hauling gravel with the gorilla cart back and forth between a little bit of a pit that Levi dug the other day and get our post holes backfilled you coming So Gus had an episode the other day where he took off and I ended up leaving Henry with his grandma to go find him, go find Gus, and he had broken through the ice near the creek. I was looking for him for like an hour before he started barking and I found him. Uh, so I had to go get a rope and pull him out, which was not the most fun thing I've ever done, but I'm really glad I could get him out and really glad he wasn't injured. But he um, ran away for a really long time, so we just think he needs spurts of energy been kind of cranky about being stuck here while we go he always goes with us so we're taking him with he's gonna do a bunch of running oh my god what do you think gus mom crazy she having her child free day having fun what about you Kamu? enjoying the weather that four-wheeler isn't built to keep the wind off of you like the snow machine is i'm cold don't you know it you gotta love a gorilla yeah
at this point if we're going to get the floor totally done today we thought it would be like one cart load per post hole and it's more like two and a half so it's taking a bit longer but the tractor and four-wheeler and gorilla cart are really doing their job we're not having to break our backs and we're not having to do it one shovel full of the time so uh, we are getting it done relatively easily it's just not as quick as we expected so we'll see what we can get done we might have to come back tomorrow even though we try to stay at the cabin saturdays and sundays uh, but we're just making such good progress every day we keep working on it is a day sooner in the cabin so Just hold it there, honey. <laughs> So close. <laughs> we almost got the floor done. Levi's dad got the rest of the joists in. Gravel is just taking us longer than we expected. So we did not make it to the rest of the plywood, but. Nope, but we'll be ready to go on that Monday morning. Yep, we're gonna come back tomorrow. We usually try to take Saturdays at the cabins to get life right there. And then Sundays we take off completely. But um, tomorrow we're gonna us two are gonna come back and finish the gravel so that Monday we can start fresh with your dad's help to get the plywood down and get yep. the floor actually done. We've got, out of our 12 post holes, we've got the gravel done in eight of them. We've got four more to go, but they are the four biggest holes. So we'll get back first thing in the morning and work on that. And it should be a little bit easier in the morning because Everything will be cold, the ground will be hard, not quite so muddy and slimy and messy. Yeah, it was getting pretty sloppy there, so. We'll get that done tomorrow, burn some trash. That'll all be next week. That'll be next week, so this week, final progress. We are still absolutely moving along. 
This is the first day that we didn't really get everything done we wanted to get done. And that was just because we were being unrealistic about how much gravel we had to do. So. Yeah. First, I mean, today went awesome. The gravel mm -hmm. went so well. So it did. It's just been more gravel than we thought. Yeah. A little more time consuming. But so. That's fine. I really, I'm not behind schedule because I wasn't sure. You know, I wanted to get the gravel in the two center holes before the joists went in. Mm -hmm. And really, we got eight of. Yeah. 12 instead of just two so yeah we'll get these ones knocked out tomorrow and yep it's looking good we're awesome well on our way